I happened to read a bit of Seneca's book on the shortness of life that deals with the idea that we are wasting our lives. We like, like our lives are not actually short. Are not lives are not actually insufficient. They're they're just long enough. You know, assuming you're not born in some third world country and die at age twelve, your life is is long enough. But the problem is you don't use it, so you don't actually spend your time wisely. Because the man who spends his time wisely is content with the time he had. <laughs> Somebody who had lived a good life, a full life, does not feel like he's missed out on life. And what we call time, most of the time, is simply just wasted. So so the th things that we call life, you know, the... The times when we, when we do things that are not meaningful, uh, it's not life, it's not living, it's just time moving, time passing. So I would urge you to look back at the last hour of your life and ask yourself, was this hour meaningful? So if you rested, did you really rest and enjoy resting? If you worked, did you actually do work that matters, to produce things that matter. If you're reading, did you actually benefit? Did you actually grow as a result of what you read? If you're with your friends or partner or family, were you actually with them? Did you actually spend that time in a meaningful way? And I think that's a brilliant exercise, a brilliant, brilliant exercise that I missed for quite a long time that that I'm absolutely going to start using more now. Uh, just looking at your time and asking, was this time meaningful? Did I actually feel like I got more than I, ga than I gave for this time? Did I actually get a return on my time, like an investor? When I sat down and ate this food, did it make me feel good? Did it make me feel better for the, the 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 hours to come? Or did it make me feel bad? Or was it not tasty? While I was learning, did I actually get a return? Did I actually create more time by becoming smarter and saving time by making better decisions in the future? If you worked out, did you actually do a workout that will change your life, that will actually change your body and change the way that you feel on a day-to-day -day basis. So if you haven't read the book on the shortness of life by Seneca, go read it right now. It's a short book, but it's deeply, deeply profound. And other than that, just use this message and start looking for meaning in what you're doing because that's where the real growth, that's where the real memories Will come from you're not going to remember anything that wasn't meaningful in your life all the non-meaningful stuff five or ten years from now i guarantee you you will not be able to remember almost a single event and incidentally it will it might just as well be 90 percent of your life those meaningless moments so start reducing the meaningless times start increasing meaningful activities start pushing for more returns from your time investment, which Seneca says is the, the most important currency that you have. The, it's the only thing that you can never get back. It's, it's the only thing. And people treat their money so scarcely. They, they won't give you a penny if they don't feel like it's right. But they will give you as much time as you want, uh, even though, again, it's the only thing that they can never get back. So I hope this leaves you on a cool note. Take this energy, take this chance, and start looking at your time. How are you spending it? Is it meaningful? And start cutting off the things that are not meaningful and changing them. I guarantee you, you're going to have really, really good results. Thanks, and I'll see you later.